Hey guys, J26 here. That glitch you with Phoenix Wright just straw. Uh, let's uh, let's see what's going on with case two. Is it really true about my end? I'm afraid so, my there's no way any could could not create by herself. And under the circumstances, there's no one else other than your aunt Moria. That that's terrible. Why why would my aunt? Everything is going just to protect I predicted Mr. Fierce, right? Rick, Miss Von Karma. Why are you doing this? Why are you trying to take revenge on Nick? Nick had nothing to do with what happened to your dad. Don't you have something to bear to be worried about? Is that your own situation? Uh, looking down on me even though we're the same age. I don't know. Is she looking down on, on, on you? Are you done yet? You caused me enough pain and suffering. I uh, yeah, my ghost to defeat you and let the whole world know of your defeat. But even if you do that, don't bring your father back. Huh, whatever. In the meantime, let's bring this match to a conclusion. Then we'll know who the real winner is. June 22nd, 12, 10 p.m. Who will now reconvene, Mr. Wright? Can you prove Miss Edie my had a motive? Yes, I believe I can. Edie Miney and Dr. Gray have only one point of connection. That was the car accident one year ago. The motive I'm looking for must be there. Miss Miney, please testify to your discourse about your car accident last year. Uh, I thought, like, why well, to end? Like, ask about my, like, motive. I, like, don't see the point in, like, bringing up the past. Smiley, if you please. Okay, okay. Like, I totally don't think you're doing any good, bud. That was, like, last year in May. Like, something really bad had happened at, like, my sister's clinic around then. And like the night of the accident, my sister was totally tired while she was driving. I was like totally pooped too, so I like fell asleep in the passenger seat. I like woke up cause cause of a jolt, and like it was a sea of flames around me. I like opened the door and I like, got away. Hmm, I think I've heard of this incident. It's all the talk on the tabloid shows day after day last year. Yes, and there was talk about Dr. Gray drugging your sister. Those were me merely rumors, totally based this gossip. Hmm, yes. Mr. Wright, you may question the witness. Now it's possible to prove that that's a great day, in fact, drug Miss Miley's sister. And which means that I have to work this from another angle. Yeah. My sister was totally tired while she was driving. Let's see, I think she got pressed. Like, I think she got pressed this day, though. And your sister, what happened to her? I didn't see it. The car was like totally black. There's like a ton of smoke. 
I like totally had like no clue what was going on. I like opened the door and like got away. So let's find that one crush contradiction. Please tell us about your escape in more detail. I like kept wanting to forget that time. So like I don't remember things about the incident in like detail anymore. Well it's alright, no need to push yourself. I think I like gave an interview after Addison. Like that would probably be the most accurate, you know. It's that article I think I've already got it. Gotta be some sort of secret sleep in this testimony. There's some sort of medical malpractice happened at your sister's hospital there. Like our accident was like on the 24th. Two accidents back to back, you think it's just a coincidence? My sister was like totally tired, so that's why, duh. That was the malpractice incident where 14 patients died, correct? What was the cause of the mistake? I got all hurt was cause, cause the medicines like got mixed up. That's the fault your sister eating money? Like no way. That's great, like wanted to blame it on my sis. That it has nothing to do with our murder here. Since so the police report has already documented that it was it was entirely me Miney's fault. To me as far as the real facts are concerned, maybe Miney is the one who made the mistake. Like it really was to my sis. She was totally tired, you mean exhausted? I should to talk to the police and like was being investigated like every day. It was like a totally terrible situation. It's no wonder then that the car accident happened. Then why didn't you ask to switch places? Like, what are you talking about? You need to switch drivers. Your sister was so tired, and you should have switched with her. Uh, but, like, I don't, like, have a driver's license. That way you didn't have your license. Mm -hmm. So I please made your testimony. That shouldn't happen that night, correct? Like it was at like 1 a.m. or so. And like a paper due like really soon. So like I hadn't slept and was working like real hard. Because the two of you were so tired that this accident happened. Was she that exhausted? Wow. 
Whoa, I don't know what else to press. I guess we gotta press everything twice. So like I couldn't take over driving for her. It's mine, that was a lame light just now. Like what do you mean? I know you had a license back then. The photo you took for the express purpose of getting a driver's license. Well, it was me that was just smiling. Um, um, that's, that's right. I had like a license, but I didn't get it until after the accident. I had the time of the accident. The director hired the guy pretending to be him anyway said so. Well, are you talking about that perverted fake clinic director? Is that before you take clinic director? When did you receive your driver's license? Like last November. When in November? The accident happened last May. That's a half year, half the time, Mr. Phoenix, right? What in the. the, 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 the that's what happened, Mr. Wright. I was asking Miss Maya, Maya did not have a driver's license. Cry my whip will accommodate. With, anyway, without a license, the witness and her sister could have searched drivers. I'm like glad you get it, bud. And even if I had my license. And I don't think my sister would have like let me drive. Don't just stand there coming to yourself. Now you two me with the whip and the pay and the owl. Miss Manny, why do you think you would not have been allowed to drive anyway? I think this situation calls for a more detailed testimony. Miss Manny, if you please. I was like, sorry, I didn't mean to be mean. Around the time I was really close to getting my license. And sis was like this totally big fan of course and like really valued this. She like had just gotten this really shiny bright red sports car. She like was saying like no way am I in a new drive my car. So like that's why I ended up in the passenger seat. I see and then the defense may question the witness. It's got this really bright red sports car. There's a new car. She had like just gotten it. It was like from the UK. UK, was that her boyfriend's initials? It was a really special model. She had waited for a whole year for it to arrive. I really don't know anything about cars, but I have a feeling this was bound to come up. Your Honor, this a pen with the witness has just said to her testimony. I don't like cars that much then. But to be honest, I don't know what the point is either. I will hold it pretty forcefully, but I actually know what to ask about cars. So yes. I 
I could. The expense of the driver seats opposite to our cars here and there. It would seem there is no benefit to owning one. This whole steering wheel on the right side thing is kind of goofy, isn't it? That's big shit. Forgive me, your personality may change its job, but interesting, isn't it? Bit by bit, we'll begin to see the real contradiction behind this case. Your sister Greta, Janet, she's like totally awesome. She like said she was going to be the I wish the cream of the nursing world. I like immediately reached for the passenger side door and fled like in a daze. I'll go ahead and stop it right here. And we'll continue next time with Phoenix Right Justice for All. Take care everyone, I'll see you guys next time.